Hi, this is Jason Long World for my movie review of The Devil's Candy. Devil's Candy is an independent film from 2015 starring Ethan Embry as a father of a kid who the kidnapper was trying to take and murder, which is played by, I forget the actor's name, but he looks just like Kyle Gass from Tenacious D. So I'll call, call him Kyle Gass Light. <laughs> Kyle Gass Light, like, um, was first bum. Um, seduced by that flying V guitar and told and his mother in the beginning of the movie told him not to play it so loud and then all of a sudden he was sent to the mental hospital he escaped from the mental hospital to murder a few kids because he has this you know obsession with religion because he's trying to like you know you know get back to heaven or something even though he's still obsessed with that like, flying V guitar they're all great performances, though. Ethan Embry, in particular, he reminds me he has that kind of a what if Bradley Cooper or Christian Bale end up becoming metalheads. He's got the long blonde hair and the beard. And he really sold the role very well. Kind of reminds me of uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt in a Hesher, even though I prefer The Devil's Candy over Hesher, because I thought Hesher was a bust despite Joseph Gordon Levitt's performance as Hesher. And then you have like the those kid actor, the kid actor who plays the daughter. She's probably one of the better kid actors I've seen in horror movies. I kind of felt bad for her when she got captured by evil Kyle Gass. <laughs> well, anyway, it's a great movie though. If you're into those independent like uh, sick horror movies, even though it's like a heavy metal movie, I one of those heavy metal horror movies came out in 2015, because I remember these were like from the late 80s, early 90s, really, um, where you have horror and heavy metal being popular at the same time. This is one of those revival things from 2015, and I really like that movie. I, I'm really surprised by it. It's really good. So if you like slow burn horror, that's it. You also, if you also like heavy metal horror movies, that movie's it too. So that's my review for the movie, and I'll see you later.